Welcome smackers, Kevin Smack here. Got a great video for you. We got 10, count them, 10 tips to go through and help you win more in squads and duos as well in Fortnite Battle Royale. So I hope you're excited for this top 10 countdown on tips. I'm going to go through and start at the beginning and just kind of go through it that way. Before we get started, I want to let you know I do have a giveaway going on. Check the link down below. $40 gift card to the winner so you can go through and get some amazing skins. It's your choice if you want the gift card to be Amazon, Google, Apple, PS4, Nintendo, Microsoft, whatever. It's going to be US-based gift card. But other than that, your choice if you're not in the U.S., you could always change your location to the U.S. to redeem it and then just change it back as well. So with that said, check the link down below. Enter now. It's going on all month and it'll be pulled early next month, probably on the first or second. So with that, let's get into our top 10 list. Here we go. Uh, so these are tips to go through and get you and your squad working together. In at number one, we have jump on time. Make sure you are jumping out of the plane and you can get down to the location you want as quickly as possible. If the location's behind you or you're already over it, it's not a good idea. Because if you go through and jump then, everyone else is going to get there first because they were ahead of, the, ahead of you. And they're going to have the guns and shoot you and you're gone. So that's some games just gone. And make sure you're always stretching to go get down there first and be the first one to land and get that done. So number one is very important. Make sure you and your team are all ready for that. If someone's AFK, try to jump later. Give them, you know, some extra time to go through and get back. Hopefully they get back and you're good to go. <laughs> Then we got tip number two. Fix your microphone. That's correct. We need to talk. Communication is key, guys. Make sure your microphone is working in voice chat. If you can't talk, make sure you're utilizing those emotes, but try to get a microphone. They're not that expensive. I'll throw a link up here to a $30 headset that I'm rocking right now, and I love it. So it's not a million dollars you know I know money's money but give that a try if you can't get a microphone or if your microphone's broke make sure you're utilizing the emotes ping on the map do everything you can to give as much communication as you can number three stick together don't be running all over the place. Yes, it's okay if you want to go ahead a little bit or go a little to the side to grab that extra chest. But be careful. Don't go too far apart. If you are far apart and another squad is in sync and they're together, they're going to run over that one person first. And then they're going to go over the other three because now they have the odds. So... Pay attention to that. Try not to get too far apart. If people do, make sure you let them know. Guys, we got to stick together. I'm not saying right on top of each other. I'm just saying in a general vicinity. Being right on top of each other can cause some problems, especially if people have explosives. So it's always good to go through and have some room. Just don't be, you know, a whole square of the map away. If you need to land, make sure you're landing in the same area too. Don't go to that other town just because you want more loot. It usually doesn't work out for one group or the other. Either they're going to need you or you're going to need them. I mean, unless you're pros and you're getting lots and lots of wins, you play together for a long time, then it's a little different. But stick together until you're pulling in those consistent wins. Step number four, how to push. When to push, I should say. I use the smack rule. <laughs> See what I did there? So... Just think of it. If you want to know if you should push someone, think smack, S-M-A-K, S, storm. Where's the storm? If the storm, if you're in this, where the zone's going to be, let them come to you. If for some reason they're in the area you need to go to, then that is a good indication that you're going to want to push. But let's make sure we have the rest of the smack complete. M is your materials. Make sure you have materials ready. A is for ammo. Make sure you have your ammo ready and 
you know, reloaded, make sure you have some, split some up between you if you need to. And then K is for kill or down. So if you get a down and the storm is over there, now's the time to go. They're gonna spend some time trying to get that other person up back into the game and in the meantime you can push hopefully you run right up there as they're bringing the guy up knock both of them down and now you even have a bigger advantage so make sure you pay attention to the smack rule number five share <laughs> it's so easy to say you learned it when you were younger make sure you share your materials your ammo your weapons you know, you have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. If someone only has four shotgun shells and you have 12, yeah, you don't have a whole lot, but you can give them three or four. You know, then you're even. Because that one or two extra shotgun shells could mean the whole difference between you guys getting a victory royale or getting crushed. So don't be stingy. Be nice. Share. And usually when you do that, others do it back to you. So it's always good to get stuff in return, especially... End game, you're out of mats, someone drops you 200 wood, savior. You know, they're going to say, you know, I remember he always gives me stuff. So make sure you go through and share and you will notice some victories increase. Next is kind of with communication. I'm going to say clear call outs. When you have an enemy approaching you want to go through and let everybody in your team know where they're at use the numbers at the very top of the screen so if it says like 55 you want to say three enemies 55 in the distance you know if you get killed by somebody in a house you know you want to be like i just got killed they're in the house second floor you know they have a rocket launcher you know you want to give them as much information as you can quickly as you can because even though you are down and out of the game, you can still make a big difference by just helping other people with letting them know where they're at. But don't talk too much because they do need to listen and track the person's footsteps and find out where they are. But if they're, if you know they're above, if you're down and you get a different camera angle, let them know they're above me. You know That way they know where they're at. But with that, you also want to have a command called clear chat. So if a fight's happening and you know, you're telling your favorite story about your favorite time that you got that crazy 360 no scope snipe while sitting upside down in the chair, drinking a glass of water, that's awesome. That story's great, but not when you're in battle. Go ahead and just pause it, you know, get in the battle and let them know what's going on. So if anyone ever says clear chat, that just means, you know, clear the microphone don't talk unless you need to important information because you know it's business time you got to take care of business so <laughs> story will pick up next time you have to run three miles to the next circle number seven build separate anytime you need to build a base or anything like that build a separate base if there are a few things you know if you are low on mats if the circle's extremely small, things like that, that are reason for you to go through and jump into somebody else's base. But end game, I would try to build separate, build a larger base than one by ones. Uh, if you can, I usually do two by one. That way you have a little more room to move around. And you don't want to just take over somebody's stuff and start building over them and everything like that. Like I said, it's okay if there's like one other person in a one by one or something like that. But if we're, you're running squads and everyone's in your one by one, it's going to be impossible to go through and get some shots and be efficient. So throwing up more buildings will even look more intimidating to the opponent and make it harder for them to find a place to rush. Number eight, know each other's strengths. If you have a friend that is a sniper and he's a god, they talk about his snipes, then you want to go through and give that guy the sniper when it drops. You know, here you go, man. Here's the sniper. I know you're awesome at it. There you go. You know what? You might be a king at shotgun. He gets the he epic heavy. He's going to be like, here you go, man. I know you, you can rock this all the time. Go for it. So there you go. Now you're 
making each player better by giving them their strengths and that will go through and help crush everyone on the map. <laughs> Number nine, play with the same people. It's hard for me because I don't know if you guys, most of you guys probably know, I stream on twitch.tv and I do random squads every two games. That way I can play with a lot of people, a lot of friends, and a lot of people from YouTube. But to be really good, you want to try to find the same people to play with, the same tight knit group of people. That way you're getting used to each other's play and you're getting better together very important so make sure you go through and find those people make sure they they play the same schedule as you they have fun with you you know they you make each other better and you're trying to improve these tips should go through and get you there and number 10 know your surroundings know where you're going try to pay attention watch the high ground you know if they got high ground you need high ground currently in the meta watch for the storm try to get there try to be the first one to plan and get everything set up or make sure you're going to take it down know where the trees are try not to build inside the trees let them build inside the trees slow them down but don't you do that you know basically just try to use your environment as an advantage you know peek around corners use your right camera angle not your left you always want to peek from the right because that's the better angle if it's from the left you're going to try to try to build and try to get a better angle on that so the number 10 is very important i don't have a lot of information on it but i've known back in the day i used to play this one game called shadowbane way back and i used to be in a clan called the fallen angels they were the best in the game period they were very hard to get into they were so good that they actually made zones and characters named after the clan that's how good they were it was insane but they were so good with the some of these tips that i'm giving you here they knew when it was time to fight you clear chat you only call targets you let people know efficiently where they are at each zone it was amazing. They knew how to use the environment so well that they would just win, you know, 10 versus 100 battles all the time. And yes, they knew the Art of War book back and forth, and they were able to put it into video games, which was amazing. And it's just things like that just work. So try to take these tips. Let me know which one you think is going to help you the most down below. If you have a question, let me know. And if you have any tips that I haven't shared, I would love to hear it. Specifically with squads and duos, what makes your team better? What makes you win all the time? Let me know down below, guys. And I will go through and keep doing this and stacking those dubs. I hope you do too. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. I appreciate it. If you would like to check out another video of mine and continue to hang out, I'll put it right up on the screen here for you. And I will see you in the next one. As always, smack out.